We've come to the Museum of Royal Worcester, surrounded with delicate porcelain, but we're talking about a very different kind of ceramic, Staffordshire Toby jugs. Because Toby jugs are special to you, aren't they, Dad? I've loved them forever. I, I, I've even been made as one. This one is a giant Toby jug of me, made by Peter Meanley of, of Northern Ireland. And I think he's absolutely lovely. So why are they called Toby jugs? I suppose they're named after Toby Philpot, who was a great drinker in the, in the 18th century and uh, has given his name to all these wonderful things. But these are some rarities, aren't they? Because this is the, the classic Toby jug, isn't it? That's the, really the first famous model, the traditional model associated with Ralph Wood. They were always called Ralph Wood. Well, now I think they're associated with the Ralph Wood family rather than just by being Ralph himself. So a Wood family, traditional Toby, and there he is drinking his beer and holding a little cup to his mouth. But I mean, I mean, people think he's a bit ugly, but uh, he's likeable, really. Isn't oh, yes, he's the sort of chap you see in a pub on a Friday night. I mean, he, he's just wonderful, really, isn't he? Yeah. A, a model like that just hardly ever comes onto the market. And so it's a great treat to have in this collection so many special ones all together. I mean, there's only one other one known of the Fair Hebe jug. This one's painted in the Pratt style, with Prattware colours underneath the glaze. Yes, it looks totally different, doesn't it, to the others. A man with his dog. Uh, it's a curious subject to, to, to see on a Toby jug. I don't think you could possibly drink from it. Well, I suppose you could pour drink out, isn't it? Uh, they're more for pouring, aren't they, rather than for drinking directly? Do you think they were used for drinking? I'm sure they were, I'm sure that... Yeah, when you were drunk at that, in, in the evening, you wouldn't care what you were, what you were guzzling down. So, there's that splendid chap on the end. Tell me about him. Well, he's Admiral Rodney. Uh, there's only a dozen or so known of him surviving, so they're, they're very, very rare, and he was a great hero of the 18th century. So it's a portrait of the, the chap himself? Yes, he's the real person. The, it, most Toby jugs are just caricatures of somebody, anybody, but he is a real person, which is marvellous. And, and, and do we know who made him? He was made by Jacob Marsh of Burslem in Stoke, uh, and um, that, that is a known character piece. Uh, he's wonderful. And he's got his sword ready to pull it out, and he looks absolutely ferocious and wonderful. Within this collection, um, there are some, so many exceptional rarities. And probably the, the rarest of all is the little tailor Toby jug. There's only, I think, f three tailors recorded. Three um, tailors. Uh, and this one is, is has lovely glazes. It's, it, you couldn't get a better example. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. So I, uh, the last time we sold that, um, it made a world record price for a Toby jug. Terribly rare. I've never seen him before. No, I, mean, I mean, that shows he was made in the 1780s. People used to think he was much earlier because he's so primitive. Mm. But uh, a, a real primitive charm. The great period for Toby Jug making was the 1780s. That's when these were all made. But whereas you see Wood family type Tobys from time to time, you just hardly ever find the midshipman tailor. I mean, he's about the rarest Toby you'll ever get. The distinction of the Wood family Tobies are these um, running glazes. Um, they sort of, they glow in a bright light, don't they? And they were hard to control in the kilns too. I mean, it was a miracle that some of these were actually finished as they were. I've seen people like him in the pub but on a on a bad Friday night, you know, completely sozzled out. And uh, I think he's great. We always associate Toby Jugs with Staffordshire. Uh, is that where all of these were made? Yeah, the majority of jugs made in, in Stoke. Um, I mean, the great centre of the making of pottery and, and making of Toby jugs particularly. Uh, I suppose you, you, you would call the majority of jugs Staffordshire. Good old Staffs. Because of the number of very rare and special jugs in this collection, we've decided to sell it in two parts. Part one is on the 14th of November, when these and other equally rare specimens will be on sale at Bonhams in Knightsbridge. So come along and have a look at them, the really best of British Toby jugs. Yes.